Many blessings to you. My name is Verda Luce from Divine Timing Coaching. And I want to first acknowledge you, all the families in the world who are willing to world school or to travel more intentionally. I've been a digital nomad for about 15 years. I traveled to 45 countries. And I wanted to share a practice with you today uh, that is a core part of my astrological life coaching practice. And it's called locational astrology. And it's one of the most profound tools you can use for relocating with your family around the world to your power places. That's for everyone in the family. It can help you strategize both where to go and when to go there. Now, I know from my own life that this could be hard to choose the different locations. You might want to go to Asia or Mexico or you know, Europe. And how do you know when to go and, and, and exactly where to go? Well, there'll be better and worse places for your intentions as a family, right? If you want to get really settled for three or six months or if you want to find a certain kind of school, there'll be better and worse places for those intentions. And that's the purpose of studying astrocartography, also known as locational astrology. So again, this has been a core area of my practice for about 17 years. I've been an astrologer. I've written two books on astrology and consciousness, uh, th one including a shadow work journal. So there's three, three books total. And my deep passion is actually working with families because I wish my parents had these tools when I was growing up. And so today I wanna to show you very briefly about a five minute video just to introduce this topic of locational astrology, how you can use it with your family. And if you're interested, we can always talk more for a session. I'd love to support you and your family with this work so you can feel really confident where you're moving and when you're moving there. I'm gonna share the screen with you. I'm gonna show you just a few different softwares that I use and the idea behind this. Really important is to understand that you know, astrology is a universal language, been practiced all over the world for 5,000 years in every culture. And uh, the more we integrate this tool into our lives, the more it can support us in our relationships, in our uh, lifestyle decisions, in our businesses, and uh, how we earn money, and in the best places to support us. So that's been my journey for 17 years of sharing that with the world through a lot of classes and trainings. And now I want to share this with you here. So I'm going to share the screen. And we're going to look at, first, I'm going to show you here a map. And this mapping software is going to show us, for instance, let's say you were born here uh, in sort of Washington, D.C., as this chart is. So what I want to show you is that the different planets in astrology represent different parts of our soul, different parts of our psyche, or you could say different intelligences inside of us. So we have emotional needs represented by the moon. We have a learning style and a way that we communicate represented by Mercury. So we have all these different planets. And when we're born, those planets are located in different directions. You could point in the direction of certain planets and you will find these planetary directions. We call them local space lines in astrology. It's almost like feng shui. If you've heard of feng shui and how we have different energies that are more supportive in different parts of our home, it's the same thing in locational astrology. So depending on what we're wanted, for instance, if we're wanting to find a really great school for our kids, we might want to look at where they have a local space Mercury line because Mercury is a planet of learning and education. So this is called local space. Now, there's a different set of lines. And these other lines are when planets are rising or setting or at the top of the sky or at the bottom of the sky. And these are called astrocartography lines. And you'll see that here, like in this chart. So let's say that we're looking at this chart and I see that this person, they're interested in coming down to, to Texas or maybe, you know, they want a world school down in Mexico. And I'm saying, well, you know, if this is one of the parents, here's Uranus on the angle of relationships. So that, that planet is influencing relationships. And Uranus can be very destabilizing. It's very exciting, but it's also wild and chaotic and kind of hectic and stressful. It can bring a lot of nerves into our lives. So we probably wouldn't want that to be a more permanent location or semi-permanent uh, for one of the parents because it could be really disruptive to the relationship, right? So this is how this works, right? Depending on what kind of work you're involved in, depending on what kind of home space you'd like, you know, if you want to live with a community, you want to live more, you know, as a nuclear family, um, 
so many factors of what we want. If you're, if you're creating a business out of that location or, you know, this is the area that we could study with relocation astrology. We could look at anywhere around the world. So I'm gonna share the screen now with you over here. And this is another software that I use. And we have these astro maps and these are really cool because then we can actually look at different areas of life. Like for instance, education for the children. And we can find what we call a treasure map. So let's say you wanna to go to Asia. We, again, we can do this anywhere. We could say, okay. And now we're gonna see that um, in this example chart that we have these like power lines here. You know where it's where it's more red. So if you wanted to go to Thailand, you know, well, it's not as strong there, but we can we can actually zoom in. And this is just about education, right? So we can get very detailed. Um, and there's Bangkok, and but here's some energy up in up in Vietnam, and maybe there's something here. So let's say you want to go to Hanoi, and I can click on here, and then I can get a full report. And I can pull up reports for five or six locations. Typically, I'm looking at four locations in depth for a family. Um, and we choose, you know, which which are the best places or the best regions for you. So we're going to Europe. What? Where should we go? When should we go there? Right. And then you could see these scores that are calculated for different areas of life, responsibility, culture and creativity. Right. So there's a lot of information here. And we could pull up these reports anywhere around the world. The last thing I want to show you is this really cool thing where we can actually look at uh, Google Maps. And this makes it nice because we can get very, very, very specific. And here you're going to see a chart or a map. This is for a person born in Sweden. And let's say they wanted to go over to, to uh, you know, Central America and, and maybe Mexico, right? And so I'm seeing these lines go through here. And what's nice is we can get really, really detailed. And we're going to look at some very specific energies here, right? So they're like, well, we're thinking about maybe Mexico City or Oaxaca. Um, and you could see that we could get really detailed, right? into the city and even the areas of the city, we can see how close one of these lines is, which is Mercury. Now this could be great line, again, for somebody studying. If, uh, if one of your children, Mercury is rising here, so they would be known in their mind and their ability to communicate, could be good for learning a language. And, and then there's this Mars energy over here. Now, um, this energy is stronger in Oaxaca. And so this would be, an energy of leadership, of motivation, of entrepreneurialism, sometimes a little aggression or forcefulness. We have to be you know, careful. We could be too competitive or too confrontational. And so then I explain how you might navigate with these different lines, right? And if you're choosing between different places in different countries, different cities, this can really help you drill down into which locations are going to be most supportive. And again, we can look at specific times um, I can actually relocate the chart at different times of the year or over different years. And this gets really helpful to know when you might want to go to these different places you have on your bucket list with your family. So just a brief introduction to this concept. I'd love to talk to you more. Uh, we can chat. You can send me an email at Vertalusa Gmail. All that information will be listed below. And, uh, and we can get on a call and see how we can support you for moving and relocating around the world with your family. Again, congratulations on this. I really acknowledge you as conscious parents and uh, making a big you know, decision to travel and adventure. And I really hope I could support you with this. It's a, my deep passion for helping families. And I've lived a lot of these places around the world. So uh, I have some, some insights as well I could share with you. All the best, happy travels, take care.